She is the chief executive uh, officer of Concerned Women uh, for America. Penny Nance is back. They are showing the Tea Party exactly what the Tea Party wants to hear. I think it's very responsible, but I have told them I've met with about five different committee chairmen and subcommittee chairmen already and said this is a time for boldness. Well, hopefully both parties have gotten the message, and it's 63 Democrats followed but, Obama off the cliff. Yeah, the other point is, what is up with the ACLU? Let me get this straight. It's okay in public. Public to use God's name as long as you put an expletive at the end of it. But you cannot use God's name sincerely and reverently and it be okay with them. You know, that is an interesting point, Trippy. Your response? You don't have one. No, I don't have a response to that. I, I just think that, that point was too well, good. Well, I think he is going to move somewhat, but I think at the bo at bottom, Obama is an ideologue, and he's only going to We have a so pro-life House of Representatives. We have a pro-life House leadership, and we have 12 new senators who are pro-life. And so, yes, that's going to change the dynamics on Capitol Hill. It's a new day in America, and we can't afford to continue to fund organizations like Planned Parenthood, the nation's largest abortion provider in the country. Been a champion for American women women and champion for the unborn and we pushed very hard for him to have that slot we believe he'll do a great job and it's very important that he, that we have people who in that slot that understand that we can't afford 300 million dollars a year to go pay to pay for organizations that promote abortion like Planned well, Parenthood. I think most importantly we first need to kind of look at what happened in the last Congress you know the last Congress was one of the most active in history but they also were wildly unpopular they have a 17 percent approval rating. So what that tells me is they did a lot of stuff, but not a lot of stuff that the American people wanted. I hope that the new Congress got the memo from the American people and understand that they have got to rein in spending, that they've got to take um, control of the deficit and of the $14 trillion debt that hangs over the head of every American in America. We've already heard from John Boehner and the new chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, Fred Upton, has said that they plan on repealing and replacing health care. I know that'll be important. So uh, I know, I think I know what the House is going to do. The question is, does the Senate understand? Harry Reid was pushing through as much as he could at the last minute, including don't ask, don't tell, and start treaties, and all this extraneous information or, or bills. And so now are they really really willing to do what they need to do and cut spending. Don't touch my kids. That's a cry from one mom who's doing everything she can to protect her children from pat-downs at the airport. She's saying enough is enough and is calling on the TSA to use some common sense. Joining me now is Penny Young Nance, the CEO of Concerned Women for America. Good morning to you, Penny. Good morning, Gretchen. So what was your experience? Well, so you're referring to an op-ed that was in foxnews.com in which I just discussed the fact that Concerned Women for America did a poll that showed that the, the an enormous amount of Americans, the majority of Americans, understand national security to be a major issue for us, that it's a major concern. We're never going back to pre-9-11 days. We all need to be screened, but we also need, need to use a modicum of common sense when we're dealing with children in these pat-down situations. I don't know if you saw Drudge this morning, but on the front page, a little boy who's being strip searched. And once I posted this op-ed, I got all kinds of responses from moms who had their own stories to tell. One was a mom in the Atlanta airport whose five-year-old was taken from her randomly, taken into a back room and patted down. The, the mom was not even allowed to go into the room with her. She could only watch through a window. So we're just saying, let's use some common sense here. I don't know that strip searching three-year-olds makes us any safer. Right. My four-year-old son at the time got the pat down right after the Christmas Day bombing, and I have said publicly I think that that was extreme. But do you feel yeah. any, any sort of resolution? Because it appears now that the TSA may be changing and evolving. The latest report now is that children under 12 will not receive these kinds of extreme pat-downs. Well, how do you know they're 12? I have a 13-year-old daughter who frankly looks 16, not because of the way she dresses, just because of how old she looks. Um, it's difficult to know how old children are just by looking at them. But, it, you know, it's a concern. I'm glad that they're working hard to keep us safe. And I know the majority of TSA agents are nice people that just are doing a job and trying to feed their families. But I'm just concerned that we're on the wrong track. We need to be looking for PETN, which is uh, Play-Doh explosives. I'm not sure that the new screening devices do that.